stop asking your child why are you angry <laughs> my name is wendy Logan. and i'm the founder of the intention of parent academy you know you're basically telling your child when you ask them why are you angry that they have no right to be angry yes i get it you want to know why but when you put the question why you actually shut the child out from feeling what they feel now most of the times many parents are not asking that why to know why you're actually asking it as per why do you think you need to get angry <laughs> so children have emotions just like every other human being this is one thing that we must speak out and anger is an emotion now what you need to do is to teach your children how to model anger positive anger management triggers now Anger is not a bad thing. Many times our children also express their anger just the way they see us express ours. Have you noticed that most times your child will yell just the same way you are yelling? If you're a yeller, the probability of your child being a yeller, it's very high, almost 90%. So most of the times when parents complain that their children are not able to manage their emotions, you find out that this child has picked their emotions management from the home. The moment we are angry, our children see us. How do we handle our own emotions? Most of us straight tantrum. Yes, I call it adult tantrum. When you yell, when you scream, you're actually throwing a tantrum. So they learn that how best to deal with their anger is to be aggressive. So your child becomes aggressive. And when you exhibit distress, or usually very quick, very quick to say, no, this didn't come from me. I don't know where they learned it from. Stop demonizing anger. It is a valid emotion. Allow your child to feel what they feel. I hear you say, but coach, I don't know how to manage or model a better anger expression or what I need to do. Yes. You need to learn how to manage your own emotions so that you can teach it. Because as they say, you cannot give what you do not have. One of the things that have helped me in my journey as a parent, I have teenagers. And one of the things I've been able to do is to work on my emotions on a daily basis. Because parenting is an emotional journey. So you can't take that away. So if your child is constantly, you know, getting at you, do not know how to manage their emotions, and all you do is to shout them down and tell them that they shouldn't feel what they feel, then of course, you are creating a child who will get to a point where they are not able to label what they feel and they don't know what to do with it. And two extremes. Is it that the child suppresses that emotion or the child, you know, expresses it wrongly to aggression have you ever wondered that when you look around us you find out that so many of us especially in our generation have a difficulty expressing ourselves when it comes to managing our emotions simple the people that raised us all right that's where we picked it from so you need to actually begin to work on yourself before you can teach your child how to do it better so the next time your child is crying what should you do the first thing you want to do or your child is angry first validate that child's anger however you need to now teach them how to express it better help them to articulate what they feel it's more beneficial to a child to articulate their emotion than not to articulate it first responses like bio i see you are frowning what happened What's really making you angry? You can say, I understand how this is making you upset. And that can make a person cry. I get it. You can say, I understand. If I were told to do my homework as well, while others are playing, I will also be upset. You can also say, you know what? When I try doing something over and over again, and it, I keep getting it wrong, I find it very frustrating too. So I just want to scream or shout too. But I find out that that doesn't solve the problem. 
Now you have told the child that what they feel is not wrong. Yet you have taught them that there is a better way to express what they feel. So it is one thing to validate the emotion. It's also another thing to know what to tell your child or what to teach them on what it is that they need to do. All emotions are valid, including the ones that get on your nerves, including the crying, including the anger, all right? But we can only do this by helping our children navigate managing their emotions and their feelings. And if your child cannot manage their feelings, so much can go wrong. Being emotionally available to your child is one of the most important part of your parenting. And until you're emotionally available, you cannot teach emotions management. Which is why the very first thing that I teach parents anywhere, especially in our academy, in the inner circle program, is for them to actually take a course on emotional intelligence. Because that is the bedrock of intentional parenting. Have you registered for our upcoming emotional intelligence course starting in February? One of the beautiful things about the emotional intelligence course is that it shows you, gives you a picture, diagnosis what it is, where you're coming from, how you were raised, and what you can do. It gives you practical tools. It gives you access to you know, things that you can use to practically change your parenting from point one to point B. You can see the link in our bio to learn more about this course. And all of the past people who've been through this course, we've trained over 10,000 parents in the last six years on the Emotional Intelligence course for parents. This course can change the trajectory of how you connect with your child and who you are in general. My name is Wendy Ulugi and I'm the founder of the Intentional Parent Academy. We hope to see you at the course.